for your always being here for us, for showing those homeowners, uh, for the wonderful food. And uh, anybody happy with that? So um, I have this beautiful plaque. Now, look at you have seen these plaques for a long time that I've been giving it every month, but none of them are filled up like this. Seven, seven, he's got three left to go. But we kind of like the larger one that holds more. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for everything and I'd like you to say a few words. I just want to say I want to thank all of you because without the residents of Sherman Oaks, we would not be in business today. It's true of your loyalty and the support and what makes the business people good is having the homeowners association that support them. Anytime that there's problems, we need to work together. And working together, we live better, we're in business, and I've just been very fortunate. I'm kind of semi-retired. And like I say, we just, this June will be 55 years in business. We've been very fortunate. All right. My daughter, Christina, who last year was um, flipping out on, on the Bravo station, and eventually now it looks like she's going to have her own TV uh, cook show. And like that, she has taken over. She has three children, uh, two, four, and six. And she's like that she'll, she'll be here for another 55 years i just want to thank everybody everybody was so kind and you know you really complimented us on the food and the cooks really appreciated it as my dad and i did so thank you again for all your business and support Officer Garza, to give us an update on what's happening in the sherman oaks area and what you in the back, in the back, um, what we should be aware of, and, and actually, we're meeting, um, I think it's next week, with Captain Snell, board of directors uh, of the associations, meeting with him to go over some of the items in the Sherman Oaks area, but give us an update. Okay, before we get started here, is there a Richard W. Lee in the room? Can you identify yourself? You're not under arrest, and you can take care of the customer. We actually have something that belongs to you. And we're looking for Richard W. Lee. Is that a warrant you have on? No, it is not a warrant. We don't plan to arrest him. We actually have some of his property we'd like to give back to him that he dropped in the parking lot. We walked away. What is it? What is it? No, we're not telling you what it is. <laughs> we'll get a lot of Richard W. Lee's coming up. Okay, what I'm going to give you is a brief. I work for the Van Nuys Area Gang Impact Team. What that encompasses is the gang enforcement detail and the narcotics enforcement detail. And what we're giving you a brief on is last year we were down 11% in gang crimes. This year, currently, we are down 7%. And we're, we're actually trending in the right direction over two years. That's a pretty good drop. Um, over a two-year period now, we've only had three homicides, and those seem to have all come within the last couple months. There, none of them have been south of Burbank, and one of them involved gang member on gang member, um, actually a shooting that occurred in Sepulveda. But as far as what we know at this time, we've been able to identify all parties. and. Hopefully soon they will result in their arrest, but at this time we have no other feuds between any of the gangs in the area. Activity between the one gang that is prominent in Van Nuys, which is Barrio Van Nuys, has dropped off significantly with the gang injunction. And we're still trending in the right direction after we lost most of our gang unit due to the financial disclosure. We're building that back up and we're getting back to strength at this time. Our narcotics enforcement detail continues to work and hopefully you never see any of them but that you can never recognize any of them. They're undercover and they're still they're still doing their job and it's doing it quite well and their numbers are quite high. So at this point, beyond the fact that most of the crime in the Van Nuys area is property crimes, and that again has dropped off significantly, we seem to be heading in the right direction. 
Is there any questions? Anybody have anything that they want to discuss specifically? Go ahead, sir. Never. His, his question was, when will gangs be eliminated in the city of Los Angeles? I can let you know now that I believe that will never happen. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, as I mentioned, we're meeting with, the board of directors is meeting with Captain Snell, uh, who's been here the last couple meetings. So if you have any specific um, questions you want us to uh, ask uh, Captain Snell, uh, please, if you put it on a note and give it to me, I'll make sure that when we meet with him, that it will be addressed. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Brian, Carla Jules, uh, why don't we have the deputies for the various uh, elected officials come up and uh, introduce themselves and uh, accept those who are going to talk and then come on up. I guess, Joan, you're going to talk and then Patty is from Give an update, but come on up and introduce yourself. Good evening, my name is Jason Levine. I'm a field deputy for State Senator Fran Pavley, representing the 23rd State Senate District. As you all know, uh, the budget has been sucking up a lot of oxygen in Sacramento. It's by no means uh, the only thing going up in, the, uh, up in Sacramento. Uh, we've also introduced 22 bills this session. I will say uh, to the budget, some of you may have heard that Jerry Brown, the governor, uh, re released his May revise, and there were some changes to the budget. That does not mean we're out of the woods by any means. And um, as evidence to that, uh, some of you may have heard that there's gonna be some closures at state parks. Uh, what will affect Sherman Oaks the most of those closures is Los Encinos State Park. Uh, these are the kinds of uh, painful cuts that the Democrats have already made, some 14 billion cuts. I have some more information on that table. I have our May newsletter, as well as two press releases. One, a Senator's statement on the Governor's May revise, and secondly, the Governor's statement, or the Senator's statement on those park closures. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact me, uh, jason.levin at sen.ca.gov, and uh, always nice to be here. Or the end of the meeting. They can see me. Stephanie? Good evening, my name is Stephanie Gillette. I am the field rep for Assemblymember Mike Fuhrer. Two items I want to mention. First, AB 52, which is the healthcare rate regulation uh, legislation that Mike introduced, passed out of the health committee by 12 to 7. So I know a lot of you will be happy to hear that. It moves on to the appropriations committee next. And there's actually a great article, which I'm so happy to see that on the front page of the uh, newspaper that you have on your tables. And then the other item is uh, Mike introduced AB 1151, which has to do with the CalPERS, California Public Employees Retirement System. Um, and this week, CalPERS announced will divest most of its investments in businesses with interest in Iran's energy sector. Um, and that's it. And you know, thanks Jason for talking about the budget. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, Wesley Hernandez with the Office of Councilmember Paul Koretz. I'm the field deputy for Sherman Oaks. Okay, what, what, what is it meant by field deputy? In other words, you're the person, if there's any problems in the 5th District, you're the <laughs> person that's going to solve it. Is that what you mean? The, the neighborhoods that I do represent are Sherman Oaks, Valley Village, Studio City, Benedict Canyon, Beverly Glen. So, uh, as Sherman Oaks residents, please feel free to come to me, and uh, I'm your connection between you guys and city departments and anything that you do need that's uh, help with the city agency, I can definitely help you guys out. So feel free to call me anytime. Um, I'll give my number out at the end of the uh, at the end of these announcements. Uh, as for the city budget, the uh, city council approved the six point nine billion dollar budget today. They've had a very busy day. Uh, they've been in council since nine a.m. and they just got out at about five. So thank you very much, Council President Garcetti, for making the trek all the way to the valley. Uh, yeah, the rumor has it, the reason he closed it down and for the city council meeting is so he could get here on time. <laughs> so all his council uh, brethren uh, thank him as well. Exactly, exactly. Um, and as for the uh, development at the Baroni site, today our office met with the Baroni site developer, also known as the Mosaic Project, as well as repre representatives from Sherman's neighborhood council. 
and Marshall Long from Soho. So uh, they told us that construction was going to begin very soon. They did not give us an actual date, but currently they are doing weed clearance on the site. Um, their expected completion would be 15 months from the start date, and uh, they're looking to complete their subterranean parking before Ralph's ground Ralph's Bethesda groundbreaking in September. Um, there are some lingering questions that we still do have, as well as uh, Marshall does have from Soha, so we're looking to the developer to actually provide more information in the near future to us as well. Uh, as I spoke a couple of months ago as well about Koi Drive and the bulkhead replacement project that they are doing there, uh, that project is intended to actually uh, prevent a, a sloping uh, hillside from actually deteriorating any further. And uh, we just had a meeting with Koi Drive residents as well as BOE, and it looks like that Koi Drive project will begin mid-June. Uh, Koi Drive is expected to be closed for about two weeks, fully closed, so uh, for those of you who do take that Koi Drive shortcut to get onto Beverly Glen, it's just a word to the wise, it will be closed for two weeks starting mid-June. And lastly, Operation Pothole. If you guys remember, there, uh, there was an Operation Pothole a couple of months ago in March uh, where uh, Bureau of Street Services diverted various resources to actual pothole filling throughout the city. Uh, that will be coming up again the weekend of June 4th and 5th. If you do have any potholes to report in the area, please call 311 or call our office. Uh, have a specific uh, location for the pothole so that we can provide that to Bureau of Street Services. Uh, my number at the uh, Valley office is 818-971-3088. That's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. With Congressman Howard Berman's office and a resident of Sherman Oaks. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm here to say hello and also I brought some constituent services guides and put on the table. But what Howard and Congressman Berman is doing, I just wrote briefly a couple of pieces of legislation. He reintroduced the DREAM Act that's for children that are undocumented to help them get to college. Um, he's got a new sanctions, a stricter straight sanctions bill on Iran. He's got a new Export uh, Controls Act and his new patent reform. So he's very, very busy. Uh, thank you. Kenya, and thank you very much. He's very proud to represent his district. Okay, and which raises a whole question of redistricting. Everyone should be following redistricting because no one knows until the redistricting commission releases its uh, uh, recommendations, I think in August. Uh, as to what the districts are going to be, who, are, who is going to be your Congress person, your Assembly person, your state senators. Everything is going to be changed. Hopefully it will be something we can all live with. And we're working with the various commissions to make sure there's a continuity of interests so that Sherman Oaks doesn't get chopped up between many different people. Uh, Pat Davenport, update? Very quick update. Um, are you, who do you represent? I might just let, let, let the cat out of the bag. I work for Councilman for Paul Corian, and I represent him here in the Sherman Oaks area. As Wesley does CD5, I do for CD2. So it's pretty much the nuts and bolts of things you have going on with departments. I have a couple of real quick little updates. One thing, I know you've got a number of these vacant lots in the area that have gotten really overgrown right now and getting calls. There is a city department lot cleaning that handles these. They have about um, 12,000, 20,000. They have a whole lot of vacant lots that they have on program, send notices out. And if the owner doesn't clear them, the city shows up, clears them, cleans them, and puts it on the tax bill. So you can be pretty well assured that uh, the lot on Woodman is going to be taken care of. Um, that would be where, um, okay, Woodman and Magnolia, where wherever, and what we've got right now is where people have knocked down buildings, and so it's not building and safety anymore because there's no building. So those are in process, they have sent out notices, they have their deadlines, and so hopefully within the next two months, the owners will just do it, and if not, the city crews will get out and take care of it. The other thing that's going on right now is a fair amount of repaving for a very short budget. Uh, but one of the things that happened when they repaved is some removal of speed humps. And I'm getting a fair amount of calls saying, when will they put them back? 
they will reap and do the whole repaving program and then put back the speed humps wherever they had to take them out uh, in late June, early July. And um, those are just two of the little housekeeping things going on, and you are welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tamar Gallatin. I'm a deputy city attorney out of the neighborhood prosecutor who covers all of Sherman Oaks. Um, so I'm doing Van Nuys Division, North Hollywood Division, and I have a project in Northeast Division, and whatever else uh, we are covering, since there's only eight of us left citywide, with one on maternity leave. Um, right now, uh, kind of two of the projects that I'm working on that uh, really touch Sherman Oaks. One is LAPD Van Nuys Division is going to um, make this, uh, we're, we're jokingly calling it the summer of no love on Sepulveda Boulevard to really crack down on the street walking prostitution all the way from Ventura all the way up to Raymer. Um, summer is usually a time when we see a lot of um, street walking prostitution uh, and LAPD is going to be doing task force after task force. There's a dedicated car on Sepulveda Boulevard and they're really uh, focusing a lot on the street walking prostitution. Uh, so you're all warned. <laughs> the other thing that, that I'm working on uh, a lot in Sherman Oaks happens to be here with this one guy who's now been arrested five times in the last uh, month and a half um, for, he, he's, he's a suspect in hundreds of tire slashings across the San Fernando Valley. He would go to shopping malls and just slash 20, 30, 50, 100 tires. Um, he came to LAPD's attention. Um, he ended up getting arrested because he was slashing tires in his own apartment complex parking lot. Uh, so some officers kind of put uh, two and two together. Um, I've ended up prosecuting him so far in the last month and a half for two narcotics cases, um, for vandalism, um, for criminal threats. After he got out the first time, he threatened his landlord who's evicting him. Um, he was released from jail yesterday. He was rearrested last night for vandalizing his own apartment. Um, he is back in custody, so I will be back in court on him tomorrow. Uh, he is a rare individual, um, and we are really trying to get rid of him. He is a Sherman Oaks resident, um, and we are trying to get him out of the community. He belongs in state prison, and we're trying to get him there. Okay, uh, now next month, Yes. why should I... Well, I'll be here. Why should these people come to the meeting next month? It's going to be you and the superintendent, right? Right. Uh, and what, what give, give us a little, as I say, a little tease, you know, is he different than every other superintendent? And if so, why? Richard Close really wants to meet um, John Dacey, who's the new LAUSD superintendent, because he talks funny like him. <laughs> Uh, but um, John Dacey is LAUSD's new superintendent, really interesting guy. We're, we're making a lot of uh, changes at the district. We're dealing with some interesting budget uh, problems in a pretty creative manner. So I think it's going to be a really fascinating conversation next month. And you get to see me with my school board hat on. Okay, and we've had, I think, every superintendent of schools for the last 20 years uh, come here and speak. So we'll see how he's different. And in the Sherman Oaks Chamber and answer your question, Richard. The, our farmer's market, which is the Sherman Oaks Community Farmer's Market, which is on Sepulveda, not to be confused with that other one locally. Uh, it's doing pretty well. Uh, everybody, if you've been there, uh, who's been to the farmer's market uh, here? Wonderful, great. Uh, I'd like to see more of you there. I think you'll be happy with what you see there. Uh, right, Ellen? Yes. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a great community thing. This week, uh, part of the proceeds go, we're doing a networking and partnering with local schools. So uh, this week, actually, Buckley uh, will have a booth there, and part of the proceeds from the market goes to Buckley. But it, this is a market that is owned and run by your community. And what are the hours? Uh, the, thank you. It's on Saturdays from uh, 8 to 1. Plenty of free parking. So come on out. Where is it located? It is on Sepulveda, just north of the Galleria, on the west side of, uh, between Sepulveda and the 405, south of the 101. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm not a developer, but uh, um, I'm, I'm assisted by a, a, a group of very talented uh, um, volunteers, and I'd like uh, Ellen Vukovic to come up first and 
and talk about what the latest is with uh, Best Buy. Remember Best Buy? I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but it's been four and a half years since I've spoken about the Best Buy project. And like a bad dream, it's back again. Uh, we received a letter. Let me give you a little history. Soha sued the city of Los Angeles on the Best Buy project, which was unprecedented at its time and continues to be, because we had discovered that there was a change of um, to benefit the developer on uh, city-issued documents after a South Valley Area Planning Commission report had been issued, and this, I want to make this clear, it was before Matt Epstein was on the board as its president. As a result of um, our lawsuit against the city, um, there were certain conditions that were made on the project, and one of them was that they couldn't go and seek an exception to the Ventura Boulevard specific plan. Fast forward to a letter that Soha received just recently saying that, guess what? They want to seek an exception to the Ventura Boulevard specific plan. Now, on the surface, it sounds harmless. They just want to raise or have permission to raise the height of the building another four to five feet for an elevator shaft because they claim their customers are uh, experiencing a difficulty uh, not being able to access the third floor parking. Now, I don't know about you, but the projected findings from the developer's traffic report were 2,700 cars flowing in and out of that neighborhood daily. Uh, to my knowledge, I've never seen 500 cars in and out of that neighborhood in that parking structure at any given time. So we suspected some another backdoor ruse, uh, this time in order to exceed the specific plan and get an auto installation use, which is against the law according to the specific plan. Car stereo installations, um, maybe sales of other vehicles, things along that nature. So we're going to be following up on that and being consistent, which is to uphold a specific plan. We now have a new council member, so of course we have to start all over and go through the rather painful history. But we'll make short news of this subject, so hopefully uh, you'll hear good news very soon. Uh, speaking of um, changes in laws, the zoning code is in the process of being made over in the city of Los Angeles. And it basically will challenge all existing community plans and, of course, specific plans. I'm not saying it's good, and I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know, again, the question comes out, is the baby going to be thrown out of the, with the bathwater? Many, many years were invested to create all of these plans. Then you go and you create new plans with new people with absolutely no institutional memory. So it becomes dependent on the community with crazy people like Marshall, myself, John Eisen, Bob Anderson, Elgi to constantly remind our local officials that these laws were written and for a specific reason and we don't want to see them destroyed. Now I want to make a shameless plug because I'm so good at that. The Studio City Sherman Oaks News, my column appears in the, um, from the desk of Soha. I urge you to read it, especially for Ventura Boulevard and South Residence, because you get updates on what goes on with Soha. You get to hear my two cents, of course. And guess what? Now you got to read the patch Patch is the Sherman Oaks Patch. It's a great online community newspaper. Arianna Huffington has just taken it over, and in it is a blog by yours truly and other members of the community. And I encourage you to get involved because with the demise, anticipated demise of newspapers and local television news and the like, soon that might be the only way that you find what's going on is through the internet and portals such as the Sherman Oaks Patch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. The, the Pulitzer Committee is breathless, waiting for next article. Uh, Elke Heinemeyer has is, uh, been working uh, on Deerville and um, other projects and wants to update us on that. I was, hi, I was telling you last week about our fight to save last the week. ridge line. Last, last week. Month. <laughs> you know, time flies about our fight to save the ridge line of uh, Franklin Canyon and in our wonderful Sherman Oaks and Sino News they have a very in-depth article about that. We, uh, the group that uh, is trying to save it is called savefranklincanyon.org so if you could log on there. What we're looking for now is people who have hiked that trail 
It's called now Hastain Trail. It used to go from Doheny Ranch to Coldwater. If you know of anybody who's done that in the 60s and early 70s, we are looking for people uh, to uh, substantiate a lawsuit against the developer who's trying to put in huge mansions up there. So save Franklin Canyon back for if you want to hike there, it's beautiful. It's across from Tree People at Coldwater and Mulholland. Tree People is one side of the hill and Franklin is the other side. There's a beautiful little lake with ducks for the kids, so I encourage you to go. Thank you. Thanks, Shelby. Um, as I said earlier, uh, we had a, a useful meeting on the uh, Baroni's site, now called, or actually it was called the Mosaic Project. Uh, in its current uh, manifestation, it's 88 condos um, and uh, 16,500 square feet of retail on Ventura. Uh, the height steps up from 35 feet to about 50 feet in the middle of the project and then back to down to 45 feet on the uh, War Park side. It's, it, although it is not exactly the same configuration, it's a comparable height to Ralph's, um, although the square footage is larger. Um, the project is sort of uh, vestigial in, in that it has been around for some time and was permitted a number of years ago. So we're sort of riding along trying to make sure it doesn't get changed too much and that the uh, agreements that were um, agreed to at that time um, will be implemented. Um, so um, I had a sort of non-committal uh, quick meeting with the uh, developer and uh, he's gonna think about it and uh, so uh, that, that, that should be interesting. Um, uh, the uh, neighborhood council was there, they loved it. Um, and uh, uh, the, some planning people were there, and so uh, it was a, a, a lot of folks and, and very useful. Um, so that's what I have tonight. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody.